Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today, a short TA video. I don't have the time to walk on the beach. I'm born to be free, I know, but today I have a birthday uh, from a very good friend, Lex. Lex is uh, celebrating his birthday here in um, Phuket, and we will be there with a huge crypto community today to celebrate it to the fullest. So yes, I will be drinking a little bit, and I just finished my sports. Too much work now to go to the beach and do a walk and talk. Short TA update, I will record some cool stuff on that birthday, so um, do watch the video tomorrow as well. Now let's quickly jump into some uh, very interesting BAM charts over here. This is the first chart guys, this is the 4 hour chart like you've been used to me. Um, on this 4 hour chart we can see very simple that Bitcoin again is doing what it did the last two times it broke out of a pattern. And what do I mean with this? I need to zoom out a little bit to show you. I will, um, wait, remove the bam bam indicator so it's more clear. What did Bitcoin do the last two times that we moved out of the pattern here? We broke out of this pattern to the downside, but then it fooled us. Bam, went up again. Here again, we broke out of the pattern, but it went up again. Boom, it fooled us. Now again, it is breaking out of the pattern and again, it's going upwards. Are we going to uh, break this kind of level of 25K now? That's the question, because this line is also becoming resistance now. Right? It's a huge area of resistance. Uh, we have tested the 25K line now, bam, over there for many times. So let's see what is going to happen. The bam, bam indicator, um, what did it do in the last couple of trades? I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you have a better overview on it. Over here now. So the BAM indicated a very beautiful short um, here. This one, that was a short. The candles were already down below the yellow stepping line. Here on the down ribbon, you can already see the short one candle more early. Um, also here, that blue line crossed already downward on the white line over there. So there was already an indication of like the short is going to come. And there was a lot of yellow on the bottom. So um, if we look at the red line was on top over here as well, there. So beautiful short. Um, if you would have taken that short, let's say you take it late over there, uh, you would now um, be of exiting over here, for example, with a 2.4% profit or exiting here at the targeted red box with a 3% profit without leverage, guys. And this is on the four hour chart. Now, again, we are doing the other way around. We um, can see on the BAM indicator a long indication. We can see the candle now is moving above the yellow stepping line. We can see the yellow decreasing, but there's still no green. And we can see the blue line is already crossing up to the white line. That is beautiful because the white line is at the level of 48 at the moment. And we have seen levels to up to 90. So yes, there is an upward movement, but the top of the Bollinger Band is over here. So at 25,200. So there could be a, a, a trade, like a long trade on the four hours. Um, probably better trades on the smaller time frames. But, you know, don't freak out. Let's zoom out. Let's go bam over here. We are going to the day chart because we are not going to stress on all the minute charts. But on the day chart, we can still see that we are in that move. You know, we came back, we retested, we are going up. And now we broke that 24K level and we are retesting that level over there, that orange line. And if we retest that line, then probably we can have the same effect. So we went up, we retested, and we will go up again, first break the 25k level, that's the biggest resistance at the moment, and then we can take it up to the 28k. Beautiful uh, chart um, on the daily, I always keep an eye on the daily, for example, the golden cross was telling us that there should be a massive push upwards. And that's what we are seeing, there's not like a lot of volume at the moment, but that can change within a day, as you know. Now, on the weekly, yeah, we see the same, two times a week, into the 200 weekly moving average, that red line, which is now the biggest resistance. We need to break that 200 weekly moving average to become even more bullish. But to become even more bullish, there's also three more charts that I wanna show you with indicators that are telling us that the bull run is almost like confirmed, like on confirmed. For me, the bull run is already on since 16,500. I've been buying all the way into it. And for me, it's already bull run. But for a confirmation, for the people that want to wait for that confirmation, uh, I'm going to share a few more charts that are giving these confirmations. That's me. Check over. And here, this is the first one. Beautiful chart. Um, it's made by, there it is, Crypto. L Crypto Prof. Um, he's saying he's been following this signal already now for a long time. And every time when that signal flashes, um, he's like, that is the start of the bull run. So over here, it flashed. 
and then we had a fake out and it flashed again that's the buy f uh, signal and we had a huge profit of almost 20,000 percent please be aware this is not the bitcoin price this is the crypto total market cap you can see it in the left top now 2019 we had the same that buy signal flashed and we had a beautiful run of 150 percent fake out bam another flash in 2020 which was a 1226 percent run for the total market cap. and now again 2023 we are seeing that signal flashing again so if we look back all the way to 2015 it only flashed three times before and every time when it flashed it was a shitload of profit a shitload of profit and a shitload of profit that signal is flashing at the moment so that means this could be the start of a beautiful bull run of the next two years, 2024, 25, And even in 23, we can still make a beautiful run to higher levels than we are seeing at the moment in the total crypto market cap. Clear? Now, next chart, this one. Also, Titan of Crypto created this one. You might ask, why is he always uh, sharing other people's charts? Because I'm not the only one with knowledge in this industry, and I want you to be able to see the knowledge of all those people that do and spend a lot of time to create these charts because they deserve um, to be spoken about in my opinion now and i think some of these are really good like this one is uh, for example over here the bull market trick he's calling it um, every time we see a crossover of that bitcoin price and the green line that is the exact moment that the bull run starts of course we had that COVID crash over here but still when we cross it again bull market starts we are almost going to cross that green line now my question to you guys is comment down below what that green line is if you find the tweet that this guy tweeted titan of crypto then you will find the answer as well probably but i want you to see to tell me now down below what is that green line but the important part is for the ones that don't care about the green line we are almost crossing it and if we cross it bam bull run on next chart over here and um, this is the seven degree trend lines um also really interesting let me see what my face is um I will put my face over here now for this one because um, you can see on this chart that the trend line has been a beautiful trend line guys now every time um, we hold that level we hold that level over here we held it over there and now we are holding it over there again holding 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 now and we can see that, that the targets of these next trend lines over there these targets of the next trend lines you can see the trend line targets if we would do what we have been doing all the time we would go to the next target is 27k then we have a 40k target then we have a 49k target and then of course we need to go to the moon again but beautiful to see this trend lines how we are finding that now as a bottom support over here going into the next level over there and now the next level should be 27k to break that one before we go to 40k and yes uh, not completely time correct i think these things but maybe in july we could be at 40k would be a beautiful summer for many of us now and then the last chart that i want to share bam is this one uh, very interesting as well why is this very interesting as well because this is showing that the printing of money does have a little bit of influence on the bitcoin price the moment that america is not printing anymore we can see that the money supply is a little bit decreasing the printer is not on china starts to print and then combined we can see that it does influence the bitcoin price so china still is printing money still has influence on the bitcoin price beautiful to see um, you know what the beautiful part of this one is um, they will need to keep printing to save the economy <laughs> so there is no other solution they cannot do anything else yes they can create a central bank's digital currency and but then they will be able to print even more than they are printing already at the moment and if they will start to do that that will also influence the bitcoin price because people will still uh, put a lot of the printed money the free printed money out of thin air into assets like bitcoin because they are considered as a store of value and that's exactly what we can see over here we can see that the bitcoin price yes goes up and down but on average it is growing and growing and growing which is really beautiful to see now do i have anything else no i don't think so goodbye mini me and um, that was everything for today short i know i hope you did really enjoy the video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think about the chart what was the green line and all other comments that you want to leave comment down below i will um, choose one of the ones that gave the right answer on the green line and give away a t-shirt again yes i still need to give away the t-shirt from uh, two videos ago i think and i will do so um, and if i don't then please remind me because i'm just pretty lazy and i 
tend to forget some stuff. Ask my wife. As I said, I will make some other content today on this beautiful crypto birthday and then probably come with a cool video about that tomorrow. So thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again.